Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our training tonight. The training tonight is going to be on the roadmap to crossing the finish line. And this training was created to help those of you that are pushing and pulling and fighting for your next promotion. Um, I've been in this business um, for three years, and at every level, you just hear from different leaders of what they've done to help their business partner, you know, hit directorship or hit gold builder or hit DIT. They're just pushing, 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 and everybody's doing something different. And it seemed like there's some special code because they'll say, oh, well, we were in the lab until three in the morning. And the rest of us are like, so where is this lab exactly? Can I get the address? What are we doing in the lab? How can I get into the lab? What does that look like? And so I am one of those people. I love to train. I love to come up with systems um, and step-by-step -step guidelines so that the average person doesn't have to try to get some secret code you know, uh, to try to figure out how to, how to do this business, how to be successful. So introducing the roadmap to crossing the finish line. So the roadmap to crossing the finish line is a guide listing a flurry of activities you should be doing to cross the finish line when you are a sneeze away from your next promotion. But again, this guide is not gonna help you unless you execute, execute, execute. So what can you be doing? Let's say you're that person, you're fighting for directorship, maybe you're at DIT, you're in the 20 yard line, you're in the 10 yard line. What should you, you be doing to get those last 10 people, those last 20 people, those last 25 people, so you can finish and close the deal? Well, here is a follow-up script that you could use with everyone that you have previously exposed to the business, but they have not yet joined. So this is a script, again, you use this script to follow up with anyone that you have previously exposed to the business, but they have not joined yet. And keep in mind, guys, if you are using the Planet Marketing mobile app, you can go right to the leads section of your mobile app and just scroll back to that very, very first person that you sent a video to and you can use this script with them, all right? You should also have a book that you're tracking. Maybe all of you have a book that you're keeping a list of all the people that you've exposed to the business. Go back to the very first person on that list and use this script. So here is what you're gonna say to that person that you spoke to, you piqued their interest 30 days or longer. You can use this using text messaging or Facebook Messenger. You can even call them, you know? But it's designed to get them to communicate with you again so that you can then take it offline and have a phone conversation. So, hi Mary, when we last spoke, you were interested in learning about traveling more and making extra money. Is that something you're still interested in? Simple, short, straight to the point, we just want to get Mary to start conversating with us again, right? Now, if this is someone that hasn't responded in the last four days, right? Maybe you sent them a message on Thursday or Friday and they haven't responded yet. You can follow up with them. Hi, Mary. I'm sorry. I've been so busy. I haven't had an opportunity to follow up with you. How are you? Again, you're just looking for them to engage with you in conversation again so that you can then take it offline and have a phone conversation with them. Once they express uh, continued interest, you can share more information about what's been going on in the company, right? You can let them know, hey, you know, last time, um, since the last time we've spoken, we have now reached 46,000 active agents. We have sold over $575 million in travel, and we have created 42 six-figure income earners. I can't let you miss this, right? And then that just opens the door for, you know, Mary to say, okay, you know what? I, I want to take a look at it, and now you can schedule the three-way call. Once the appointment is set, again, go right back to the Jaffe script, right? The Just Ask Peak Interest script, right? You schedule the appointment 
with them. And then here's a quick video to watch and write down any questions. I'll be sure to answer them on our call. Send them the big picture video and let them know you look forward to speaking with them. Another activity you should be doing to cross the finish line. Let's have a travel party, AKA a private business reception, a PBR, right? Have weekly travel parties using the plug and play or presenting the Planet Marketing PowerPoint presentation. Let me just say this. If you are a DIT and you do not know how to facilitate and give the PowerPoint presentation, I need you to do that. I need you to start practicing the presentation. The people in front of the room make the most money. Please don't do what I did. I actually hit one star director and had not even looked at the presentation. And as a result, I slowed the growth of my team because I then didn't have an opportunity to do webinars that they could plug into. I was dependent on whether there was gonna be a corporate webinar. And at that time, we were only having them on Mondays, right? So don't do what I did. If you are a DIT, part of your personal development is to practice the presentation and learn how to do it. And what better way than to do travel parties um, in your home? Now, we also have a plug and play. So if you are a brand new business partner, you haven't even hit bronze yet, and you're like, oh, I wanna do a travel party, how can I do this, but I'm not ready to do the presentation, guess what? You can just use the big picture video, right? So you can um, you know, set a date, um, make a list of the people that you wanna invite, and call them, don't just post it up on Facebook, that's not an invitation, that's marketing, but call them and invite them to your travel party, right, or to your private business reception. And then when you're there, you know, greet your guests, be excited, and begin with telling them your why for joining the business, right? Introduce yourself, your background, tell them why you got started in the business, how you learned about the business, what your experience has been so far, and then just play the big picture video. It's a 10 minute video. And then have your senior business partner, maybe your goal builder, your DIT or your director, either they're with you um, and allow them to give a brief testimony. So if you have some bronze, silver, gold builders, have them give a testimony um, about their experience with the business. And then to close it, you're going to have your director in training or your director on standby. So if they're not in the room with you, maybe you have them come in via Zoom, right? Or you have them on a conference call and they're gonna close out your travel party for you. And when I say close it out, meaning they're going to answer all the questions that your guests may have. Um, they may also share their story and their experience with the business and just kind of gather those, um, you know, those, those decisions from your guests so they can find out if they're a three, a two, or a one, okay? Um, and then just have your computer ready for those that are ready to get started and signed up. And that is a travel party. I mean, it, it's not complicated with the plug and play. It's super simple. Um, and it's something that if you are a sneeze away from your next promotion, you should be having weekly travel parties. And there are a lot of people when you're really, really serious, they're doing two a day, right? They're doing one in the morning, they're doing one in the afternoon, they may even do one in the evening. And it's not necessarily just a travel party that you're having in your living room. Maybe you're having the travel party for your new business partner that signed up, right? And, and it's now a business launch but it's something that you should be doing on a regular basis if you're trying to cross that finish line. And next we have the credit holds, right? Um, this is something here that is, there's been a lot of great feedback on this script, um, but if you are a gold builder, you should be going through your genealogy, the genealogy report, and make a list of everyone that's on credit hold in your downline to the next gold builder, right? So for example, I personally sponsored Shaheen Grant. So I'm gonna look in my downline and anybody that's on credit hold between me and Shaheen, who is a DIT right now, I'm gonna stop 
and I'm not going to include his people that are on credit hold. Because he's a DIT, he should be going through his downline and using this script down to his next gold builder. Okay, and you want to contact them using this following credit hold relaunch script. Hi, Mary, how are you? This is Tanisha, one of your success coaches with Planet Marketing. I wanted to reach out to you because I had noticed your business was inactive. I'm not sure what's going on, but I do know that life happens to all of us, and sometimes we get thrown off track. Perhaps when you got started, it wasn't a good time for you, or maybe you really didn't see the benefit of what your business could do. Personally, maybe there was more that I could have done to help you. Between you and me, I really don't want you to miss out on what's taking place in our company. I'm not sure you are aware, but at this point, we are 45,000 strong in 23 countries and have produced 42 six-figure income earners. In addition to that, we have just recently sold over $575 million in travel. This opportunity is changing the financial blueprint of so many people around the world, and I really want you to see the benefit of this opportunity. Let's hit the reset button together so I can help you get your business back on track. If you could give me 30 days to help you relaunch your business, I can show you how to smash your goals so that by this time next year, you could be making long-term residual income. Is that okay with you? I look forward to hearing from you soon. Enjoy the rest of your day. Now, this is kind of long, but here's what I want to say to you. A phone call is going to be more effective. So I want you to just kind of get the concept of the conversation. And when possible, call the person and have this conversation with them over the phone. Avoid using this as a text message if you can. Um, avoid using this in Messenger if you can. Always make the phone call your first um, attempt. And then if you're not able to catch them by phone, then go ahead and say, hey, I'm gonna shoot you a quick, you know, a quick message, all right? But you want to have this conversation with people and, and take the time to find out what their experience was. Sometimes um, I found out from speaking to people on credit hold that it wasn't even something that we did as a company or as a leader, it's just life happened to them or they know that they didn't plug in the way they were supposed to. And sometimes they're a little embarrassed about that. And so they're happy that you called them and they really do wanna reset, you know, reset and, and push the reset button, but they're just, you know, their pride gets in the way. Um, so this will be very helpful in letting them know. Now, if you have this conversation with someone who is on credit hold, they're really serious, they wanna come back, but they're in between blessings. They financially can't do it. Get that person's name and phone number and share it with your director and let your director have a conversation with them. And they will work with them and you know find out what's what, offer some suggestions, whatever it is, but let your director know. It's, as they say in corporate America, it's above your pay grade at that time. So just let your director help them out and have that conversation with them. So any questions, if you have a question, um, please unmute yourself. I want some feedback as well. Hey, Janine. Hey, Patrice. Mr. Scott, I'm going to yield the floor to you, sir. Scott, are you still on? Yes, Tanisha, I'm still on. Can you see or hear me? I can hear you. Oh, there you go. I see you. As long as you can see me. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, this has been a, a good, just kind of hip pocket kind of training. And uh, first and foremost, I want to let Tanisha know that I appreciate all of her efforts, um, you know, not just for what she's doing for her team, but what she's doing for the entire organization. Um, there is no um, one way to do things, but if we're going to really be pushing uh, through uh, August the 11th at 12 o'clock midnight to help you to get to where you desire to be, <clears throat> it is very important that we have some type of roadmap.
And so um, this is what we've come up with. Uh, if there is other things that we need to be doing, can be doing, and so forth, then we're going to do that. Uh, somebody is saying that they can't hear me. Can you hear me, Tanisha? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Okay. Um, we need to have some type of roadmap. And so this is what we've come up with. But, but listen, what I need you all to do for yourselves and for us to be able to really, really help you, we need you to execute. We need you to get busy. We need you to get in motion. We don't need you standing on the sidelines. We don't need you waiting to see what other people are going to do with this information. Um, you have to try something in order to get somewhere. All right. And if you do nothing, you will get nothing. But we want you to be able to get yourselves to the next level. We want you to be able to uh, rank up. It doesn't matter whether you're just getting started on uh, this past week. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're bronze, you're silver, you're gold. We want you to be able to hit your next level. There are 94 people on this Zoom, Ms. Burke. Yes, sir. They're hungry for the information. I love it. And so what, what in the world could happen with 94 people on the Zoom right now if you begin to execute? Is it possible that we could hit the scoreboard 94 times in one week? Mm -hmm. I think we can hit the scoreboard 94 times a day. Whether it be with a new prospect, whether it be a reactivation, and so I believe that if you all are taking this information serious and you all set this time aside based on your leaders communicating with you, letting you know what we were doing. So here's what I don't want you to do. I don't want you to take in this information and do nothing with it. You need to be executing on this. You need to be executing. And all of the leaders, all of the one stars, all of the two stars, all of the three stars that are in our organization, all of our goal builders who have already shown themselves as being builders inside of this company, we've got a group of DITs as well who are well on their way to directorship. We want to be able to help you through this process. I believe with nine, now 98 people, and you're going to have this uh, so it's accessible. Is that right, Ms. Burt? Yes, sir. I'm going to upload it uh, to my YouTube, and then I'll share it in both of our team groups. Okay. And so if you need to revisit this, if you need to take screenshots of uh, the different slides so you have them, um, we're going to make it accessible to you but we want you to go to work this is all about you all about you guys that are that are striving to to get yourselves to the next level and so we just want to be able to do our part to help you to get there okay um be willing to go for the no nope i'm not interested in coming back nope uh, you know, I'm not interested in, in the opportunity. Go for the no and keep going. I'm immune to the no's. I'm totally immune to the no's. And I literally laugh at people when they tell me no, because uh, I know what they're saying no to. They don't. And so it's time for you, you all to go for it. It's time for you all to... Um, literally get out of your comfort zone because we're trying to get each and every one of you into your money zone and it's going to be a place that's going to be uncomfortable for many but guess what at the end of the day you're going to be at a different place you came here for a reason you made your investment for a reason you did not make your investment to sit still you didn't because that doesn't make sense no one spends two hundred dollars um in a hope that something is going to happen. This is a business and it's designed for it to work, but you have to go to work. You have to show up every single day. You have to push play every single day because if you don't, 
Your business is just sitting still. I'm not even going to say it's idle because you're not even working it. You've got to be, take yourself through this process, and the leaders are here to help you. Um, and so, Tanisha Burke, I definitely appreciate it. Guys, I am all in. All 97 of you, I'm all in. Whatever we have to do, there might be some special calls that we do, it might be some special launch calls that we do. We're going to continue to formulate this over the next couple of days to see what else we can induce for you to help you to get your business to the next level. Um, and so, Ms. Tanisha Burke, I, I don't see a need to, uh, you know, have anything else to say unless I miss something that you think needs to be said. Um, have, somebody had a comment? I have a question, Ms. Tanisha. Yes, ma'am. And that question would be, I have, I have been, I guess you can say gone for a little while because I was like getting some extra little help by Ms. Yolanda Kinderly. Mm -hmm. And I'm really seriously, you know, it's super excited to be back because I do want to learn how to do the presentation. Okay. And I want to be able to want to be able to, you know, say it in a lot in front of a lot of crowd of people. Okay. And I am trying to get it out of my comfort zone. Awesome. 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 So I would say Miranda, keep practicing the presentation and then get on your leader's calendar and have some present do a presentation training with them. I would also encourage you, we have uh, the corporate webinars Monday, th Monday through Thursday mm -hmm. at uh, 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. So watch that webinar you know, throughout the week and take notes on what they're saying about each slide. And it's the okay. repetition that will help you get better and better. Okay. Okay, great question. So that webinar is at 9.30? Yes, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mr. Scott, I just want to also send a shout out to uh, Tamikia Smith, because um, she is the one that shared the credit hold script. Um, we all have had several different versions of scripts that we use for credit hold. And I had several, and I was like, I need to combine these three. <laughs> and, you know, and she had it already done. So thank you, Tamikia Smith, um, for sharing. We have some amazing leaders, Mr. Scott, that are willing to share information that they get with the rest of the big team. Well, you know what? You're absolutely right. We do have some amazing leaders. And here's what I want you to do. Um, just by way of organizing this, um, I need you to reach out to your leader. I need you to reach out to your goal builder, okay? Your goal builder or your one star. Let them know where you are with regards to this. Um, let them know what your plan of execution is, okay? And, uh, you know, just, just get that process started. Okay? Awesome. That's it. All right. So I'm going to upload this um, to you. I have already shared the script um, in the uh, legacy group and in the Team Lux group. So I will upload the video. Uh, so thank you, everyone. And it's great. So we're going to be doing this live.